What it do, what it do, what it do, all my real ones out there. It's your boy Walt Wheel in again with another review video. Alright, so I will not do spoilers this time. Um, and that's what's going to be like for the future because uh, I'm one of those type of people who do not like spoilers. And then there's YouTubers that I watch who will review a show or a movie. And they will give spoilers, so I don't get to support them because I don't want to be spoiled, you know? I want to see the show. So, my review today, as you saw in the, t uh, as you will see in the title, will be the review on Dame Drop's new Fresh Fried and Crispy. So last night, uh, your boy wasn't well, couldn't go to sleep, and so I decided when it posted to bench watch the show. And um, without giving away too much of it, he went to eight different um, locations in eight different cities. And one of those cities so happened to be of my hometown where I was born and raised, St. Louis, Missouri. Before I get into really all of that, um, of course it's the review of Fresh Fried and Crispy. Um, starring your, your main boy, your main man, the food titan, Dane Drops. Now, he, uh, normally when you watch uh, certain shows, they, they do the pilot to really be the focal point for the rest of the series. Like, that, that pilot, pilot to that series, to that show, determines whether people want to keep coming back and watching episode week after week after week. Beautiful thing about Netflix is, is they give you all the episodes in one, um, uh, one streaming and one one point. As soon as it hits uploads into Netflix, you get all the episodes, and that's something I really, really, really like. They don't make you wait every week like HBO Max or well, I wouldn't say HBO Max, more like Disney Plus or Hulu or Amazon Prime. They literally give you all the episodes, and that's always a bonus. The first episode, I will say, was of St. Louis. Now, being from here, um, he's even, he's tapped and did um, reviews on places I've never been and people I've never known. And I've lived here all my life, well, most of my life. And it was just a pretty, pretty dope episode. And every episode after that kept getting better and better and better. Dane brought it. He brought his flair. He brought his energy. He brought his swag. Everything into what you see in the YouTube videos was amplified more. Not just, I guess, from my perspective, it was it was probably because he had um, chefs, chefs, and other people in his videos he could feed off of. Um, the people who he interacted with was also yeah. cool people, very laid back. Some were yeah. uh, very animated and um, had their own flair and personality, which added on to his, which made the show even better. So in my last video of the trailer, I uh, recommended that if you guys seen that video, I'll post a link up above or I'll probably, you know, give you the link at the end of the, uh, this video. So you could just click on and go straight to it. Uh, where I told you I would recommend that you would watch his viral video of Made Dame Famous. Which was the Five Guys Burgers and Fries um, YouTube video. And uh, basically, in my opinion, all eight of these episodes... Are definitely worth the watch. If you a type of person who likes cooking shows, if you like the movie, like one of my favorite movies is Chef. Um, if you like that movie, if you like the the Chef show on there on Netflix, if you like those type of um, entertainment shows with food critics and things like that, I definitely would recommend you check out. Fresh, fried, and crispy. Now, when I do reviews on these shows, normally, um, 
you know, some YouTubers are even, you, you know, either they're sponsored or they have someone review their movies or whatever. When I review things, I'm not being paid or sponsored by anybody. These are honest opinions from my perspective. You might even have a different perspective when you watch the show. I am that YouTuber who are is not in the business of wasting your time. So when I say that the show is good, it's good. Even if I like a person or I like their character, I'm going to keep it 100. If the show's a flop and they bored me to death, um, I will let you know. Before you watch Fresh Fried and Crispy, I will recommend you go check out his YouTube channel, which is Dame is self-titled Dame Drops, where it says super official on it, where he he does reviews out of his car. And like I said before, check out his viral video first, which was the Five Guys Burgers and Fries. My opinion, um, it wouldn't shock me if if this week or next week his show is in the top five. He might make it to number one if people watch it. Um, I already know his. he calls his fans the foodie fam. I already know they're going to watch. And he has over a million subscribers on um, on YouTube. So most of those people will, will watch it if they have Netflix. And they're going to think it's dope because uh, this is like Dame Drops times 10. You know, it's, it's it's really funny, really engaging. He brings his flair. Um, even the people they engage with feed off him and they give back that same energy. And it's just an overall good, entertaining, well-filmed, well-everything. I even have to give the credit to his production team and everything. Like, the, the camera angles, everything they did was good. Everyone who participated in that project they they're they're dope give them a thumbs up because it was just it was well executed well made i didn't i didn't get bored not one time um watching this uh series so um i recommend you check out fresh fried and crispy again before you do that check out his uh youtube channel and check out his uh viral video and um once you watch it tell me if i'm wrong Hit that comment section. Say, hey, Walt, you on that BS? Man, you told me the show was going to be thorough, man. And I, I fell asleep, bro. Like, you know, I take all the criticism. Um, and I also keep it real. What what I might like may not be what you like. But if it was, if it was uh, corny or just weak or just whack, I'll let you know. I'm like, man, it ain't, it ain't no. Don't waste your time. But this is a good show. I think I tried my best not to give too much away uh, to spoil it for you. Hopefully, Netflix picked them up for a second season. So there goes my review on Dame, Dame Drops. He called it Project Dame, but it's uh, his new TV show, Fresh Fried and Crispy. Check it out. It's worth the watch. It's your boy, Walt Real, in again with another review. I'll holler at you later. One.